Just as images can be too bright, they're often too dark. And to be honest, I'd rather have an image that's a little bit dark than too bright. It's much easier to recover details in areas that are slightly dark than that are overexposed. So if you are shooting and maybe aren't shooting raw, consider shooting slightly underexposed for safety. Now here we've got an image that's too dark. I could see with my histogram the same problem. What I wanna do here is fix this. Remember, there's no shame in clicking auto and letting it guess for you. There it did a pretty good job, but we still have some crushed areas. So I'm actually going to lift the exposure up just slightly and balance that out and put a little more highlight recovery in and a little bit more shadow lift. That looks pretty good. And I was able to bring quite a bit of detail out. If we take a look at another image here, you'll see the same sort of thing in play. Again, with the raw file, don't be afraid to play with the overall exposure slider. Then when it's about right, take a look at your highlights. Sometimes recovering highlights while brightening the whites is gonna do a nice job. Notice there how we've really increased the dynamic range, a technique we'll explore more in a bit. By playing with the shadow slider and the black slider in opposite directions, we can often get the type of contrast we want. And there is a contrast slider as well. In any case, if we look at the before and the after, you'll see that quite a bit of detail was brought back. Remember, working with raw files is gonna always give you more flexibility here, and in fact is its own insurance policy. If at all possible, even on a smartphone these days, shoot raw when you care about the images.